to today's video, everybody. It is qualifying day for Formula Drift J2 round four. three, four, round four. We're at Okubuki. Now, this is like one of my favorite all time tracks for Formula Drift Japan. Normally, the J1 guys are driving the service, service road and it's super sketchy and it just looks so cool because it's literally the service road of a snow skiing and snowboarding resort. That's literally where we are. And during the summertime, they still need to make some money. So they turn all the car parks and everything into a track. It's awesome. So we're gonna be driving on the skid pan today for a brand new layout that they've set up for the J2 drivers. It's got a lot of outer zones, big first corner that just wraps all the way around. It's like doing a huge donut. So if you can do a donut, you should be able to do this. Um, Does but that mean I can go too? Maybe. Uh, but then there's a really tricky um, outer zone four, which is worth the most points today because you have to do this really sharp and quick flick to angle, but then get really deep in the pocket. Looks like a lot of fun. I'm excited to drive this track. So we're gonna go out there and uh, do some practice laps and see how the car feels. <laughs> This is the first lap out. This is pretty much just test and see. We gotta feel out the car, feel out the track, know what's gonna work with the car. But as you can see, it kinda feels good. I feel like we're hitting rev limiter a bit too much here, so I start thinking about maybe picking a little bit of a taller, longer gear ratio to throw in the diff. But overall, pretty good first lap out. Once again, just feeling out everything, trying to work out what we need to do to the car to make sure it's gonna be happy on the track. But you can kind of see it, it's already pretty, uh, pretty well set up. We're now on the second run, and you can see that I go a lot harder here. A bit more of an aggressive entry, but you can see with that correction there on entry that my front end is kind of washing out and sliding a bit. So that tells me that we need to lower the tire pressure in the front, gives a bit more grip there. But otherwise, not a bad run. And you can see I'm being a lot more aggressive there on that outer zone four. I'm starting to really just figure that out. So the car's feeling really, really good. Um, I'm just messing around with tire pressures and suspension settings right now just to make the car feel more suited for this track. Um, it's definitely a lot more slipperier than I was anticipating. The surface is a lot, uh, is pretty ch like cooled, uh, cooled down as the weather's quite cold here today in the mountains. And then um, also just the surface itself is slippery. We were expecting to use tires a lot faster. Seems like I still have enough tire left to do another two laps, which is a good thing, saves money. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go back out there. I've lowered the rear a bit, give me a bit more grip, and I've lowered the front to give me a bit more front end grip too. I felt like the front was a little slippery. So we'll go out there and see how that feels and we'll make a few more changes as we go through. pressure dialed we haven't had to make any changes to the suspension damper yet I think we're pretty dialed there um, yeah just tire pressure and that felt a lot better a few more laps I want to try really throwing it into that last corner though I think I could do a really cool like almost a backwards entry but not a backwards entry just like a lot of speed I can build up there and just flick it in and slide in there and then back on throttle I think that'll look super sick and no one else is doing that so I want to try and do something like that um, the cars, I'm feeling more and more comfortable in this thing every time I drive it and I just learn how to throw it harder every time. So I think we're going to go out there and have a bit of fun.
after a few more practice laps, it's very clear that I need a bit more wheel speed and we're maxing out the 4.3. Um, I don't want to be shifting too much, like trying to work out to get to third or fourth or anything like that. I want to just stick to first and second. So we're going to drop down to 4.1. Just because the run up's so small, it's a lot harder to deal with three gears rather than two. Um, so we'll try the 4-1, we'll see how that feels. If we need to go more wheel speed, then we're gonna have to go to a 4-8 and I'll have to use third and fourth and start in second. Um, but otherwise, car feels good. I'm still struggling to find out the best initiation point, like the transition point for that fourth outer zone and just making sure we're filling all the outer zones on that big sweeping corner. Just making sure I get comfortable with that. Hopefully the 4-1 helps a little bit more with that and uh, we should be good. But so far, everything's good. Car's staying cool, like can't fold anything right now. It's great. So, yeah, he's saying that it was really good. Um, yeah, I think changing the gear final really uh, is uh, feeling well for him. So, we'll see. I'm going to call him. So, practice rounds are now finished. Um, I did want to go out and do a couple more laps, but unfortunately, the clutch fluid in my master got too hot and it changed the uh, like engagement point and felt a little weird. So I thought it was safe to pull it in just in case we we're having a clutch issue so that we had as much time as possible to change that out if, if necessary. But just some hot fluid. So uh, we're gonna let that cool down. The guys are gonna make a shield, a heat shield for the master to try and prevent that from happening tomorrow during tandem battles. But otherwise, car feels great. Got everything pretty well dialed. The 4.1 rear end definitely works the best in the car. Now all we gotta do is wait till they call my name and tell me I gotta go up there and then we drive. And hopefully we get some good points on the board and we qualify. I would love it if we qualified first because that gives you the advantage, right, where even if you lose to top four in fourth place, if your qualifying score is higher than the person you lost to, then you actually get third place. So it would be cool, it would be like a kind of a cheats way, I guess, of getting third place even if you lose that top four battle. But, um, yeah, I don't know, it'd just be cool to get a trophy for qualifying. But I also don't want to go 110% unless we get some good points on the board on the first run. That's my battle plan. So we'll do a really good run, get some good points. And if it's good enough for me that I know we're going to qualify with those points, then I'll go out there on the second round and I'll put 110% on it and see if we can uh, get a higher score. May's been really busy. Show us what you've been working on. I've been working on uh, like a record shoot for settings. Yep. So we probably shouldn't show this to everyone because then people will copy our stuff. But she's documenting everything that we're doing to the car and what diff ratio we're using, tire pressures and all that stuff. And that way we know next time we come to Okubuki roughly what we need to do to the car from the get-go so it doesn't take as much time in practice to do it. Yeah. And we can focus on other things. I love Excels. Yeah, so she's making an epic Excel spreadsheet. <laughs> Good job. Data is important. Yes. Getting all suited up and ready. We're gonna head out and qualify. I ain't gonna lie, I'm a little nervous, but I know we can do well. So, most importantly, have fun. That's the most important thing, but I'm also here to win, so. <laughs> see what kind of run you can make, because it's very different from how Sugo was. Definitely a smaller and tighter course. It looks like here he is coming in hot. Ripping hard into outer zone one, controlling that car, coming into outer zone one right there. Beautiful job. 
Wicked around those outer zones. See, look at that smoke cloud. He is tracing in the outer zone three. Oh, he just couldn't hold on right there through outer zone four. Definitely the trickiest part on the track. Exciting. He flicked the car, uh, good enough angle going through outside zone one, on throttle most of the time. Um, so looking forward to the second run. That was a great run up until I needed to transition. Um, we are having clutch problems. The guys are looking at that now, trying to change the fluid and re-bleed the, the system. But that was not the problem there. It was literally just me being nervous and losing my train of thought. If you watch the in-car footage, you can see me going to downshift and um, I, my hand gets stuck on the um, uh, on the hydro, so it's it's weird. I think I just lost my train of thought just because of nerves and stuff like that in that moment. I knew I was in second. There was nowhere else to go. I think it was just a careless mistake. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can bleed the the clutch fluid out and get back out there. The clutch is just moving engagement point. It's like all the way either when it's cold, it's all the way down to the floor. When it heats up a little bit, it's all the way at the top and it kind of just keeps changing on me and it's a little uh, like it's hard to know at some point I, I like to slip the clutch and stuff like that when drifting and just like do little clutch kicks and whatnot and now like the point just keeps moving so it's hard to do that but that was just me messing up and then losing my timing to get back on the power I'm, I'm annoyed <laughs> but I'm trying to keep calm so we can go out and still save today <laughs> I hate this feeling where we have a zero on our first run and now I've got to go out there and I can't do a safe run. I have to do the same run I just did but just make sure we connect it all um, because I can't afford to do a safe run and get two lower points because then we'll be under the bar and we won't qualify. So I'm going to go out there. I'm going to give my 95 to 98%. All right, that's what I'm going to give. And I hope that that's not too much or not too little to get us under the, like above the bar. Be fine. I think we'll be okay. I'm a lot calmer now and I'm just like so confused. Like I think that like when I was driving, I was like, I did this and I was like, what just happened? What did I just do? Like my brain literally just had a fart, like it just stopped working in that moment. And I was like, I went completely by muscle memory and feeling on a big flick and then wanting to go downshift like a Nico or something. It was just super weird. Anyways, it's just stuff I gotta be more careful of. I gotta run through my run in my head before I go out and all that stuff, so that's all. The hardest part I feel about competing is just like the mind games. That's it. Yeah, should do some like uh, motorsport, like psychology stuff. Number 11, Sam Lucas, Sam it up. Thoughts Sam it is up. Gamer sucks. Sitting on an incomplete. He needs this here, but looks like he's coming out real aggressive right there in the entry and out of the Beautiful shot in the out of the road. Carrying it through. Smoke trail all the way, just missing out of zone two, but here he is trying to get a solid run in the book right here to make it into the top 16. Definitely that outer zone two is going to be a killer for the line portion. Yeah, but there overall, 72. Ooh. Is that going to be enough for him to make it into that top 16? Yeah, I don't. I'm not. I'm not sure what the score is and the cutoff is right here. By now, you already kind of know. I mean, obviously, the title of the video is going to be that, and probably the thumbnail too. But we didn't qualify, and uh, it sucks. It really does. It's probably 
the worst feeling I've ever experienced. I would put it next to breakups and stuff like that. It's a, it's a weird feeling, especially when you go into it with a bunch of confidence. But this just proves that like, you know, I guess like superstars aren't born overnight. You know, it takes a lot of hard work and practice and I'm trying to make sure that I don't let like my disappointment in myself ruin today or my attitude or anything like that. I still love drifting. I still want to be a part of this. And I know all I need is just a little bit more seat time, get that muscle memory sorted out. Um, maybe do some psychology stuff to sort out my nerves and stuff before we go out there. I really think that like today, like just, I wasn't, because I wasn't dead last in points on the board, I had to wait. I was the 30 second driver to go up and all that time waiting just made my nerves get worse and worse and worse as time progressed. And like before, especially like at Sugo, I was like the third driver. I didn't have time to even think like about what was going on. So yeah, I think we just need to work on that, get the anxiety and the nerves under control. Otherwise, like my second lap wasn't really that bad. It was just me, that, that should have been my first lap. I should have been a lot more like relaxed. I should have been, you know, done a safer lap is what I'm trying to say. But um, yeah, you know what? It's very unlikely that if you get a zero for your first run uh, that you're gonna do well for the, you know, the second run. It's just how it works. So next time I'm gonna really focus on trying to do more of a safer run for my first run and stop trying to go balls out, show off, and just my style kind of thing. I think we're gonna go chill, first run. It's gonna be my game plan. And that way we've got points on the board and it's not gonna be such an issue if, um, you know, what am I trying to say? You know what I'm trying to say. I think you know what I'm trying to say is that we do a safe run first, we get some points on the board, then I can go out there and do more of a style run if that makes sense. But today was literally like that first run would have had me in the high 80s, low 90s, if I didn't mess up on that fourth zone. That, and, and to be honest, it doesn't flow great going into that. It's a bit weird. Um, I like the three outer zones leading up to that, but it should have been like a wider, a wider um, like area to get into that zone. It, it's very short and narrow and it's just, it doesn't flow that great, but I still should be able to do it. And I was able to do it. It's just, it's tricky. And um, I just messed up with muscle memory. Like you guys saw, I went to go and downshift in a weird, like I don't even know why I did that. I was so confused at my body and myself. Could also be that I didn't really get much good sleep last night. So I don't know. There's a lot of things to take from today and learn. And by no means am I complaining or anything like that. I'm literally just like, I want to learn. I want to learn what made me perform bad today so we can fix it. Never happen again. But the funny thing is, is I mean, even pro, pro one drivers go through this on a regular basis. So we're going to keep working, guys. We're not giving up. Massive, massive thank you to the guys at Sidex Japan, Fusto over there. Fusto, come here, bro. I just want to say massive thank you to you, man. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry I didn't qualify, but we'll get it next time. I know how you feel now. It's not going to be the last time. It's okay. Yeah. It's but true. Yeah. No, I don't want to be rude. This competition. That's true. You see top drivers like that guy get yeah. third place on Sugo. Yeah. He take two zeros run today. Two zero run? Yeah. So, and I, to be honest, like, sucks. yeah, we're having a few clutch issues and stuff like that, but that was by no means the reason why I sucked today. It was just nerves and messing up. You saw what I did. First run. If you make a mistake in the first run, you fuck everything. Yeah, it's so bad. It's so hard to do well in the second run if you get a zero. So. Anyways, we're going to pack up, get everything Let's sorted go. there, and then uh, we're going to go have dinner and Brazilian food. do Brazilian things. Good parking job, May. Not bad. What do you mean not bad? This is 100% good. 100% good? Yes. Says I the person that was screaming at me because she's like, what does hook it in mean, Sam? What do you mean hook it in? Yeah, I don't know. I don't understand. I don't understand. But That's good. That's, uh, you waste that. 25 uh, line. Uh, oh, are you saying you got better line points than I did? <laughs> Is that what you're trying to joke uh, with? 25 Man, angle. you're sleeping in the doghouse tonight. And Normally that's the 30, other way around. Listen to this girl. Points. Oh my God. Anyone ever told you you're a bitch sometimes? I mean, that's my job. That's true. So, today was Japanese style. 
All right, so May wanted May was thinking about some stuff uh, that she wanted to talk about in the vlog, and I thought this would be an awesome opportunity before we go head out and have dinner. And yeah, yeah, no, I was just thinking like you know, probably the nerves, getting to your nerves thing, is not actually on the day thing, but I think mm. it actually started when you were trying to test the car and you had all these issues and yeah, like. You didn't have like hundred percent faith in the car. I think so too. Um, like you definitely had a part of it. Like I definitely in my mind I was like waiting for the next thing to break, and then we started having those clutch issues. Yeah, so that um, just like kind of put put like it was a sprinkle on the top. Right? Yeah, it's like oh no, and then that's and if when you, you were like yeah, and if you know like the kind of person that I am, like I'm a very like logical thinker, and I always think like five steps ahead all the time. So everything that's going through my mind on a run and stuff like that, it, it like usually I'm like, I know what I need to do and I know what I need to do next. Um, but I was definitely keeping like in my mind, like the clutch issue or the belt coming off or the alternator having an issue, like that definitely affected it for sure. Um, but yeah, I think like at the end of the day, it really just comes down to that muscle memory. Um, and I was thinking about it like, I don't have really any other car except the the pink S15 Sylvia, which is yeah. kind of out of commission right now, that has the hydro handbrake. And I've had a few troubles where I've caught myself like going for the stock Stop. style one or, you know, getting my hand caught on it on the, the hydro like you just saw again. Uh, this that muscle same issue. memory. Muscle memory, yeah. yeah. It's just muscle memory. And like if I get in my comfort zone, which I'm, I remember feeling like after the entry and I'm just like, yo, I'm killing this. This feels great. I did relax. I did just kind of like, ah, but, and, and I was just really too excited and stuff like that. And that's all it was. But this is like, like I, I've never competed on this level before. Yeah. And I have to keep telling myself, this is the first time I have competed in a competition of anything on this level. So I, and, and I mean, even when I was younger in school, I always had stage fright issues and stuff. So like whenever they'd put me on stage and stuff, I'd like freak out and just have anxiety or and, like nervous problems. So yeah. 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 But yeah, my point was it's actually not on the day's things, but it actually started. Oh, it was 100% a build up. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm just constantly thinking like, what's going to happen now? We're going to lose a belt. Is the alternator going to shoot out of my bonnet and kill someone in the crowd like you know what i mean like i was thinking about it probably happens. too many things and i just yeah needed to clear my brain but really like that aside i think i can deal with that it's just the muscle memory that really messed me yeah, like i too. can literally remember being so confused and baffled as to like what did i just do like i was in the car and i was just like i don't even know what just happened why did my hand do that like i was so confused when my body did that and uh, yeah and so that's so, like i guess why i'm so upset is i'm just like dude i had it but yeah it happens it's all good i'm just bummed okay. that i get to tandem so you're gonna, with my friends you're tomorrow. gonna install the hydro on the chaser now yeah i mean we've had that for a while we just haven't had the car back at the shop yet for the guys to do it um and i was just waiting till we did the engine swap so mm. I, it's swap. just really interesting like competition is actually not about the car but it's about yourself Oh, for sure. And like, it's crazy. It's so it's different. It's crazy how much things come out and you learn things about yourself, which mm. I, I, I enjoy that aspect, I think, more than the driving because I, I don't have the skill. Yeah, you need to know, like, what kind of person you are and, and who you are to know what you need to do to make sure that you're the best that you can be. Yeah. That, if that makes sense. So yeah. if you know that you're going to get nervous about these issues, you need to know what works for you and your brain and everything to mm -hmm. relax and calm yourself down and, and not make that an actual issue. Yeah. I think today really would have gone so much better if my muscle memory didn't let me down. But I think the main reason why the muscle memory was a problem was because I just got too like nervous and excited in the seat of the car yeah. when I was like, oh, I'm not actually doing so bad and kind of relaxed. Yeah, you know it was I mean? like, I'm doing bad, I'm doing bad, I'm doing bad. And then oh, I got this, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It was like, oh, yeah, I can do this. And then... My focus was off. That's it. I know, I'm like, I feel Stop like we keep... Stop blaming yourself. Well, I mean, it's a it's process. It's a new learning curve. It is, it it's is. just a new learning curve and it's just, it's okay. We'll do okay. It's okay. Okubuki's okay. is a much he bigger needs, track. He needs some beers tonight. All right. What do they call that? What? The Brazilian drink? Uh, caipirinha? Yeah, we need some more of those. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. no caipirinha today. All right, anyways, we're gonna go eat. 
and drink and have a good time. All right, everybody, here's to sucking. Yay! Yay. <laughs>